everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm going to firstly address the elephant in the room which is my hair i'm not going to, going to go into it yes it is different um i had a bit of a malarkey with it um but there will be like a hair video coming out next week i'm pretty sure um explaining everything that went on with it just because i think um people need to learn from my mistakes and it might be useful so i'm going to put that out anyway so it'll all get explained in next week's video so for today's video i'm going to be doing like a what i eat in a few days kind of i was planning to do the hair video but it went wrong so um this is just sort of a space filler i actually thought i was being organized for once and it just hasn't happened so it's sort of going to be a what i eat in a few days just because i haven't had a chance to do a whole week as far as my eating habits I say I would say that I do I think it's called intuitive eating so I eat what I want when I want pretty much obviously other than work I like have to work around it and how it goes but I do try not to just stuff my face full of junk but um, there are a few things obviously I do quite enjoy um, this video mainly I've been focusing on the meals and not necessarily snacks so if it shows that I don't really snack then that's probably wrong I do snack a lot I just thought I would make that aware um and obviously not every week looks like this this week actually looks quite um veggie based but um i do try and incorporate that into my diet quite a lot but i do eat meat as well um it just depends on what i'm feeling like eating what i'm doing that week what's going on with my life um it just depends so i hope that you enjoy this video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more like this in the future and i will let you watch the video so I am still on my usual iced coffee and strawberry jam on toast. Um, this is a continuing trend, I just love it and obviously iced coffee because it's the summer. Um, I've also started incorporating having a little bit of fruit with it as well so this will change depending on what we have. Um, but this morning it was a nice big juicy orange so that was really really nice. For lunch um, I actually went out with some family to a pub for lunch so as you can see I had a gin and I also had a fish finger sandwich with some chips and then a coffee afterwards and then straight into tea time so my aim was to make a like veggie pesto pasta I love pesto pasta it's just quick and easy and I just wanted some veggies so obviously I did broccoli and I boiled that with the pasta just because I don't like crunchy broccoli um, and this is the pesto that we use we have free from pesto just because my brother is vegan so if he wants to use it he can and I basically once the broccoli and the pasta has been drained I saved a bit of the pasta water I'll add the pesto and some garlic powder and I heated up the pan I used the pesto sort of like as an oil base and this will be so I can add in spinach because I don't like it straight up raw I like to cook it a bit um, so then I'll add that in and cook it off and I also added a little bit of cheese in that as well Then the next day was literally the same breakfast, I just had strawberries instead because we had some of them and they were really nice so I had a very red and strawberry breakfast. I'm sorry typical me forgot to film her lunch um, I was at work so I just had a sandwich with like some crisps and a few other extra bits um, but I was working in the evening as well and this was actually quite rushed I would have liked to put way more like veggies in it but I was making just like a quick vegetable noodle stir fry so I started with broccoli and I boiled the broccoli um, for five minutes with the noodles at the same time and then I also did a carrot Carrot. <laughs> So 
I also did a really tiny piece of onion. We actually had some left over in the fridge just because I like it to add flavour but I'm not really keen on like the texture and because it was only for me anyway it didn't really matter so I did this little bit and then obviously garlic as well for the flavour. We don't have a garlic crusher which is why I am like randomly chopping it but I don't mind it quite a bit because I like garlic so not too much of an issue there. I then chucked the onion in the pan and just gave that a little bit of a cook before I put the carrot and the garlic in and just gave that a bit of a cook. I used sesame oil because that was supposed to be good for like Chinese stuff like for the flavour um, and then I gave that a little bit of a cook. Then I was able to put in the noodles and the broccoli so I obviously added a bit more oil and I fried that off a bit as well as adding a bit of salt and pepper for some seasoning. Then the main component I use for stir fries, unless I'm doing maybe like a peanut butter type base, is soy sauce. Absolute staple for a stir fry. Um, obviously, I mean, Chinese food is just what my mind automatically goes to, if I'm honest. And I also added some pepper last minute because I like it more on the raw side. And I also put some ketchup in it, which people are going to think is weird, but I think it gives it a really nice, like, sweet taste. Um, ketchup is often a component of sweet and sour sauce, so it was kind of along that vibe. And that was basically everything there and that was really yummy. So on Wednesday I didn't film my breakfast because it was pretty much the same. Um, this is just a little snack I had before work, probably about 12 o'clock. Most randomest thing ever. <laughs> Basically because I had work, all I had was that snack before. I did have a bit of bread at work but I hadn't really had anything but I'm not that hungry so I was like let's just have some Marmite toast because that's always good. So Marmite toast is what we have here. Having another iced coffee. I normally have one of these in the morning and in the afternoon, even when it's not really warm outside, but I just love it. So I'm just gonna have the rest of these caramel digesters. I think there's three in there. I love these too much I could probably use that for a packet. Then for tea that night I just wanted something really quick and easy because I was working again um, and I really couldn't be bothered to cook so I just did a classic chicken nuggets chips with like peas and sweet corn. This day was sort of an example of how my days go from like super healthy to just like basic and not so much healthy but it's okay to have that sort of balance. Mm -hmm. 